Yo, right, everybody, welcome back to some more Curse 3. What? You expecting some sort of funny introduction where I tell you how much I'm suffering to your amusement or compare the game to a child's board game to facetiously tell you how easy it actually is? No, I'm good. I'm not going to give you guys that today. You know why? Did you see the last episode? Did you see me kick that Gorgon's ass? Oh, let me tell you, that thing was like, please, Falcon, leave me alone. Oh, and I left it alone. Well, actually, I didn't leave it alone. I left it in a lot of pieces. Oh, yeah, I kicked that Gorgon's ass. After that, I think we're good. And as a matter of fact, check this out. So I was told that I was not going to be able to find this here in the game. You could only actually make that. Even Homeboy that drops ammunition for you, the spirit, doesn't drop any ammo for the Tommy gun. So I'm going to test it out today. We're going to take it out for a spin. I got some ammo for it. And let's start off as well by going by the suggestions. I think people were saying upgrade. Shield bro. So shield bro, this is for you. Good sir. Become the knight that we deserve. Dark energy fills my soul and I grow stronger. My protection shall henceforth be increased for you. Not only can I block some incoming enemy fire, I will also create a barrier behind you at all times. Whenever we travel together, we need not fear back attacks. Still, be wary of the sights, mind you. Onwards, milady, to death and ruin. You're all right. Now, remember that door that's been sealed up above for a while? We need to get in there. And I was told to go back to the library area where all the books and to read it carefully, and I did. Essentially, I think we need to get this guy, but we need to grind them up. If you guys remember earlier on in the gameplay, or at least in the series, or at least this playthrough, we turned on the power, and then early on in the game, I was like, oh, ah, yo, dude, I'm, I'm busy. You kidding me right now? Hey, um, can you keep it silent for me here really quickly? Because I need to deal with this misanthrope here. Is he, is he coming still? He's coming. There it is. Remember I mentioned like, oh, hey, once we get a wrench, we could come back and like, you know, unscrew this for whatever reason. Well, this is part of our puzzle here. It's bone. This boner's got to go in there, and then we grind this boner up. By the way, don't ever, you know, grind the boner up. That sounds awfully painful. But you see, now the bone is there, ready to go. And this is what we need to get into that room up above with the arcane stuff. Let's indeed go for the Ouija board. So for this, we need to go into the girl's room. It looks like a nice card or board game table. That's your hint right there, obviously. Should have probably left all the stuff to strip behind, such as the wrench, but whatever. It's here. Put that down. Put that down. And put that down. Do we have to light it up? I'm not sure if we do, but you know, just in case. Oh, oh maybe we did. So let's see here. How would this work? Oh. Abracadabra, that bloody ass. Ah, actually, scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That one actually got me. You know what? You're the perfect candidate for my my. Ah, don't do it. You're the perfect candidate for this, by the way. Yeah, get him in the dome piece. Said, get him in the dome piece. Don't do it. The only problem with the the thing is you got to swap between weapons to. Get your guard up in time, otherwise you will not be able to get up in time. You think it's almost ready to be caught? So let's leave this behind. We'll go check out that door eventually. We will. Right now, as I've mentioned, I need to put this child back together. I need to put Humpty Dumpty back together. I don't think he's Humpty Dumpty, really, but... Still. Let's, uh, do that. He's a child who suffered a terrible fate. And I hope he appreciates the fact that I'm going out of my way to... You know, give him peace in the afterlife. Oh, I can't hot equip him. So what do I do? Drop? Oh god, you just drop. <laughs> and luckily for us, it just falls right into place. That's uh, disturbing. All right, buddy. Well, I'm look. I'm bringing you. I'm bringing you peace. Ah, 
what the hell just happened? That's a very good question. Does this child not deserve peace even now that I put him together? Just let him... Oh. Just... Just let him be. <laughs> Why don't you just let this child be? I went... They tore him apart, and now I put him back together to make him go to rest, and now he's just gone. Zeus's thunder strike apparently disintegrated him or something. Well, I don't know. I felt I've done my part. They didn't get anything for it that I could visibly see. There's nothing to be a problem. Okay, um... Well... I guess... You up here? You there? We're gonna need this to get back out. Alright. No. No, I don't think I will. Alright, it's I don't have to deal with him. Let him uh, let him hang on the forest. He could become like, I don't know, you could find Link or something, you know, find Coco Regal Forest or something. I don't know. He's one of the lost wood kids. It's fine. <laughs> well, uh what what time is it? Can I Alright. So I guess the other thing we can do is I could just sleep until midnight, and then we can do the Ouija board thing. We could also go to that door that we just unlocked as well up above. Bad idea. <laughs> ah! What the f- Two hours later. All right, everybody. So, uh, <laughs> we are back. Uh, it turns out I can't seem to sleep. I'll be sure that in post-editing I put in the first time it happened, but I went to sleep and that child apparently accosted me in my sleep. I mean, I thought I was going to you know, wake up at midnight, do my little barricade myself in the restroom thing, and suddenly that thing popped up and scared the bejesus out of me. Then I tried it again and it kept on happening. So I can't seem to sleep anymore. I can't do it. If I try to sleep, that thing shows up. So we have to deal with them. The problem is I'm also very tired. I do have a restoration potion for energy, which I should have used. Should have at least brought with me, but we'll figure it out. You know what? I do have this extra point in, uh, in experience, or experience right here, so let's put this into fortitude. And I'm thinking maybe like one more level, we should be able to max out fortitude. Then we can start dropping into vigor and deal with this entire issue with the energy here. Okay. There's a song now. There's a song in the forest now. There never used to be a song, I'm telling you, it's this child. He's out of his rocker. Oh, goodness God, he was staring at me. I didn't even know it. Yeah, so it seems you gotta follow the music. And then blat him. Because if you don't blat him, well, he gets you. Oh, it's loud. Oh, <laughs> you, you, you think you're sneaky, huh? I don't think he's getting up back up from that one. You see, you should have just left it alone. I, I brought you, I mean, I, I gave you a little bit of closure and you have to wake up and be creepy as child that attacks me at nighttime. Something inside is glowing. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I was doing a little bit of testing off camera. I thought this would be like a special thing, but it just gives me light. That's good. I think there was a spell like this in uh, Curse 2 as well. I never used it. I wasn't really using spells too often in Curse 2, but here all the time now. Um, do I know where that child... Oh! I was gonna say, I just realized I don't know where it was that I killed him, but luckily the map shows you exactly where it was. Very convenient. Otherwise, oh, good luck. Good luck finding him. Here, oh, there it is. Okay. I'm sorry, pal. Maybe, maybe you'll finally get some rest now, huh? There it is. Okay. He had a crystal. Oh, that's right. Last time we got one of these, we got a cutscene.
What do you suppose this is all about? I do not have any details, my queen. That is the elders of the magic research team. I would have to guess that they have made some large discovery. Oh, the moon staff. The discovery which started it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the staff of the moon. This represents the pinnacle of our team's vast arcane research. With this, we may now hold the key to our very mortality. I have discovered a means to siphon and contain the raw energy of life itself. It can also be considered the ultimate weapon. Wow, this sounds serious. I'm getting a very bad feeling right about now. Now observe as I demonstrate our limitless future. And that was the old arm of malice if I had to wager a guess. What are these things showing me? I don't understand. Well, now we got two of these. Um, we do know where they go. Um, I just don't know how many we have to collect. But this is our second one now. And that's gonna be down on the ground, which we have opened up, but... Last time we went on down there, there was, uh... Really not much for us to do at the moment, so I think we still have to, as I mentioned, do a little bit of cleanup. We still gotta go check out that one room as well, the Ouija board thing. Right now, I need some desperate sleep. So, let's teleport ourselves back. Let's get some sleep. And I guess we'll probably wind up doing the Ouija board thing next. So how does this work? We just... Oh, we just interact with it. Okay. Oh. Spirit of this room, are you here now? Hello. Uh... Seems our spirit is indeed here. Yes. What is your name? Why are you here? How did you lose your life? Well, let's start off with a, an easier question, I'd say, right? Do you, do you have a name? S is the first letter. I think, isn't that like your name supposed to be like Sarah? Or are you just saying that because you saw the S and the A and you just figured? No, I think we read, I think we read or at least heard like uh, one of the uh, documents that we read or listened to the tapes and it was like supposed to be a Sarah and uh, the family. Yeah, Sarah. Okay. Do you know who I am? How old were you? Do you know who I am? Are you going to the J? Oh, she's going to the J. She knows I'm Jen. Now, you don't necessarily have to spell my entire name. You can just shorten it up to Jen. <laughs> we don't have to be here the entire day for this. Yeah. Down here? That's where the end is at. Yeah. Basically, it moves by itself when you just hold down the, the mouse. But you can kind of move it yourself faster if you kind of know what letter she's going after. So, you're not going to be here forever. How do you know me? Where are you going? No, the numbers don't make any sense. Oh no, you're going to goodbye? Don't go to goodbye. We're not ready. Didn't like that question. Why are you here? I... I L? I L I uh, V. Okay. I I live. I live. You live. You live. Technically, you're dead, but I mean, you lived here, right? Yes. H and the E. Yeah. 
And the R and the e. okay, I lived here. But you know, you know, you don't live anymore. You're you're you're, you're caught somewhere in limbo. It does seem. Are you evil? Why do you stay here? Why not move on? I don't really want to know if it's evil or not. Why why are you here? I okay. Yes. I see. I see A. I can. You can what? Hurt me if you want to. Please don't. Oh, I can't. You can't leave. Is something keeping you trapped in limbo? C. R. C R. C R U. The crust. <laughs> the crust of the afterlife does not allow me to pass. W. Oh, you're going to the Y, aren't you? Crystal? Is it crystal? Or cry? The crying lady doesn't let you go? Chris. Yep. T. Yep. A. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let me guess, you want the L, right? Crystal. So, you have another crystal for us. So, we have two. This will be the third one. Give it to me and you may rest. I. I. See? Okay. You can't? You can't just give it to me? Want the T? Oh, you're passing through T. Where are you going? H. I can who? You can hurt? Don't go to that Y. Don't go to that Y. If you go to that Y, I think I know what's coming next. She can hurt us. Okay. <laughs> I guess you're not that friendly after all. Oh, forget it then. I will be fine. Please show yourself. I need to prepare first. Okay, uh, let's, let's make sure we're ready for this, huh? Uh, you know what? Just in case, you know. Have it there for a reason, Like the Grim Reaper now. Ow! Okay, that was quick. Now you're green, you didn't take any damage. What's it doing? Huh. It seemed like I, I hurt it severely. I crouched. Oh, I can't leave. Crouched away, huh? So it does. Oh, you got projectiles? That's okay, you know why it's fine? Okay, yeah, go projectiles, because we saw your HP. It seems I have to hit you when you're in corporeal form. Well, let's um have Girly give us a small quick heal, if we can. I doubt you'll be... Oh, don't tell me I can at least see him with the eyeball. Oh! No, no, you don't need the eyeball. Yeah, let me get that heal. I want to hit you now, but unfortunately we have to guard. Alright, yeah, you know what? Let me get shield, bro, then. Ah! Got me from the side!
Where? Shield bro, you saved me. Ah! Damn it. You got that shield bro, thank you. Hey, come come to There it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh, there it is. Right in time. Put it back up. Shiro, you got that, right? Thank you. I wonder if, uh... I wonder how much damage that's doing. Like, I kind of want to see the damage comparison. Maybe I should be using the spells. Come on. There it is. Nailed it. The MP let me down. You got that right, Shield Bro. Nice. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh it's not dead. I started blasting. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's dead now. Excuse me. Hey, it's, it's not midnight, is it? This guy's like, is there a party in there or what? Hey, Doug, um, I'm busy right now, okay? What's your, what's your deal? Let me just collect my, my crystal in peace. There. You think now he's ready? He should be ready, right? That's my boy. Just do them like Shang Tsung. Alright, now, if you allow me to collect my reward here, fine. Oh, we're gonna get another cutscene, aren't we? Well, that's three, huh? Hmm. Wonder how many we need. Oh, yo, it's all the knights. Brave soldiers of my lunar army. Our very civilization hangs from a thread. The hordes of evil that fled from the void shall not defeat us this day. We will close every last portal. We will destroy every vile demon. We will surround Malice, and we shall drive them back to whatever hellhole they spawn. May they choke on their own bloody screams. Charge! Yo, look at this showdown. It's unfortunate that they lost, though, huh? Somehow. So are the spiders in Curse 1? Because I didn't see them in Curse 2, and I hope I don't see them in Curse 3. But the Zombos, uh, I mean, we've dealt with Zombos in the second game. The red skeleton I know is from Curse 1, but it showed up in Curse 2 as well. Same with the the blue um, worm there. The spiders, the only thing I haven't seen just yet, and I'm okay with that. Am I seeing something happening now, or is some kind of recording? All right. Well, ooh, we got an experience. Fortitude, max it out. Let's go, and then we could just go into the old Vigar. Okay. We're the time with this, and I'm going to wrap it up here. We did a lot today, didn't we? Two crystals. We're getting close to it now, I have to imagine, right? We still have to go through that room next time that we unsealed. So we'll do that next time around, and then I guess we'll try to put the crystals down at the bottom. And, I don't know, maybe power up the entire bottom area. It seems like that's what's needed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. Any sort of tips is always, always welcomed. I'll catch you next time.